Love is in the air, but not on Tinder. <laughs> Welcome back to another one. I usually want to space out these Tinder videos for a while to kind of accumulate some good quality content, but damn! Valentine's Day's coming up and people are getting desperate. So let's see what we got going on here. Alright, looks like we got a profile here. Uh, looks like he's got a tongue thing on. I think to probably protect him from hot sauce so it doesn't burn his tongue. Okay, and then it follows up. I have HSV1 oral herpes. Swipe right if you are okay to be friend with me or you have it too. Well, herpes... I was gonna say herpes can't stop this man from being in love, but by God, it can. Them nipples can. Oh, what's this? Oh, his about me. I want to try Chinese, Indian, or Malay, or any other race woman out there. Let's be friends and see how it goes. So he, he's pretty much down for anything, ladies. Come on, <laughs> hit this guy up. Got these tongue condoms here. Good on him for being forward about that. Everybody needs to be forward about that. Don't be spreading. Don't be spreading things. This one says, is this how we start conversations now? Are you into sucking decent sized? Wow. Are you into starting a conversation like a normal person? I like to start off with a bang. I like being treated like I'm more than a set of legs that open. No, no, not legs. Mouth. Okay, more than a chick with a mouth for you to put your dick in then. She laughed at that, so she's laughing. She may, he's, he's probably thinking that, she's laughing, this is going well. <laughs> Alright, this says, am I not up to date on emoji meanings, or does this say what I think it says? Yoga? Unicorn? I think unicorn's threesome, I don't know. Uh, whatever that flag is, uh, Jewish, Japanese, and Christian? No watermelon lovers. If you have zero intention of reaching out, responding, and meeting, do not swipe right! I live in Manhattan. Visitors are okay. Looking for a relationship. I'm half Jap. I grew up overseas, well traveled. You're fun, spontaneous. To like to travel. Okay. You're already telling them what they are. Looking for fun. Open minded. Adventurous people who actually will meet, have drinks, and have fun with. My picks are within two years. Flakes and weak men are not attractive or wanted. So, for all you racists out there, Watermelon emoji means you support Palestine. If you didn't know that, if you thought something else, you know. <laughs> Alright, this says, The hypocrisy is unreal. Not interested in buying content or hookups. Only looking for someone to get to know to, to progress. What the f***? Put some goddamn punctuation in y'all's messages, man. I can't. Y'all mess me up, baby. Not interested in buying content or hookups. Only look for something to get to know to progress into a long-term relationship or friend. Oh, all right. Oh, come down, come down. And then here's the conversation. Titty pics, V? Looking for a long-term partner. My biggest red flag is smoking, drinking, hookup culture. Not interested in buying content or hookups. Only looking for someone to get to know. Long person. For, it says, just quotes the guy's profile. You don't fit into the category. Tits? <laughs> Dudes will say, I got one thing I'm looking for. There are exceptions, but I'm gonna try to steer clear from that. This one says, they don't even try anymore. I swear that lip piercing is cool AF. TQ. What's TQ? Have you planned out anything for your upcoming Valentine's Day yet? I was, I was trying to, I was like, did I read that wrong? No. None of y'all idiots can type. I don't think it's me. I, I, I think I can read just fine, but people just can't type. No. Ah, cool talk. Good luck out there. TQ. What the? What does TQ mean? It means uh, it's slang for that's slang for thank you. When the? When did that become a thing? Okay. This one says pro tip: Don't talk to a woman about sex like this when she makes it clear in her bio that she isn't interested in that, and then blame her for you sexualizing her. How can you expect a man to not want to hook up? When you're have the sexiest photo on here, setting a guy up for failure, gorgeous. Laughing my ass off. Thank you. Maybe I should tone down my photos then. That message right there didn't call him out. It was almost flowing with him. So yeah, us men need two things in life. Y'all can't type, brother. And it's been like this day one. We need food and fucking. When you're a short dress with tits out and arms behind your back like that, 
I think you know what you're doing, shithead. <laughs> this 100% is Vince McMahon. Food and fucking. <laughs> this one says, careful of the crazies. All right, starts off here. Going home. So you're going to leave me here? Have some food. Question mark? Seriously, that's a real shitty thing to do to someone. I had invite from my fa- Again. Again with the English. Oh, boy. I had invite from my family to go watch the game with them, and I didn't because I had plans with you, and now you completely blow me off. Shame on you. I missed a good plan, too. Actually, I am flying to watch the game with small family. I know, sorry. This person does not give a f actual... They don't care about... They don't care about you at all. You see, I am too old to have sex just for the sake of sex. I don't even love you to just to just to hang out at your place. It's gotta a be good reason and hell no, you not gonna know where I live. No picking me up, thanks. And then he goes, <clears throat> please don't drag anyone else along for the ride until you figure out what you want. You were the impulsive one who wanted to hang out immediately after not even getting to know one another. And then she goes off. I either get what I want, which is a guy who has no beard, first of all, sorry. I think because my ex was a banker with great discipline and family oriented with great career and ambitions in shape on and on. I can't go backwards. I can't. I need a better guy or I'd rather stay alone. Then he goes, you were the one who stayed the night. Oh my God, not story time. Now, please go figure your life out and get off date naps. Not everyone is bad. And then her name, right? And then she gets her revenge. So yeah, no games. It stops right here because I know I am not interested. Good luck to you. The things, the things is, my ex was the best highest quality of man I know and the fact that he is screwing all kinds of women, that's freaking great for him. Meaning he is ladies man as well. Please stop texting me. So yeah, sorry, I guess I'll be alone all my life because I, can't like anyone else. Okay, this is a this is a wild one right here. This one says wild Tinder shenanigans. You not us, lol. ETA is seven minutes. I'm here, coming to get you. So it looks like he or she went over to their house and you know did some stuff. My fear is that the condom is inside me, lol, because apparently that can happen. So I'm going to go to urgent care tomorrow to investigate. Oh God. Okay, please keep me posted. I will. I'm sure what. Wherever it ends up being, all will be well. Dude, it's the it's the fact that they don't put punctuation. Dude, I can't read without punctuation. I will. I'm sure wherever it ends up being, all will be well. Lol. Okay, where's the commas? Ha, huh, okay, good luck. Update, so gross, but I got it, lol. It was, in fact, inside. Oh, God, at least the mystery is solved. Yeah, he does not care. So, it looks like the condom broke inside of her and then slipped off. Notice which finger I'm using. If it's slipping off, that means probably just use a smaller one. <laughs> God damn, that's long. I ain't reading that. All right, here it says, I thought romance was dead. The key to my heart is face <laughs> while watching anime. Okay. All right. If y'all if y'all want to get on Tinder, Think about that message. All right, so for all y'all on Tinder and date naps for Valentine's Day, to try to look for a date. It's too late. It's too late. You ain't gonna get one. All right. <laughs> all right. If y'all enjoyed that, let me know. If a hey, Valentine's Day tomorrow, if you ain't got a date, don't get on date naps because you ain't gonna get one. You, you are gonna get ridiculous messages that you can just screenshot and just send my way. Send it to me via email or Instagram. All right. And I might use it in a video. All right, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you put commas in your messages. And I'll see you in the next one.